EDF is unconstitutional has sparked mixed reactions among members of parliament. The MPs say the fund has visible footprints in the country and doing away with it will disenfranchise many Kenyans. Alan Ochanda earlier on spoke to Lurambi MP Titus Hamala, who is also a member of the CDF committee in the National Assembly. Well, remember that uh, last week a three-judge bench sitting in the High Court in Nairobi ruled that this NGCDF was and is unconstitutional, but uh, as given the members of parliament who have been uh, quite uh, vital and pivotal in the management of that uh, particular fund in the whole country, they have actually been given a grace period of up to June 2026 to just ensure that uh, they wrap up all the projects that were bankrolled by that uh, particular fund. Remember that uh, this is not the first time uh, these are particular fund is actually encountering hurdles on its uh, uh, journey. Remember that uh, uh, last year or rather two years ago we saw the courts really ruling that it was unconstitutional. So the members of parliament in the August house were actually uh, just ensuring that uh, it's anchored in law but uh, the court still insisted it's uh, uh, unconstitutional. So let's just uh, talk to the member of parliament for Lurambi Titus Hamala to just uh, give us his views about uh, the ruling of the court as to whether they'll be uh, maybe uh, complying with the ruling because they've actually been given some uh, good time. Maybe they will be appealing or rather just uh, wrapping up uh, the projects and uh, making peace with the ruling. Karibu sana Mwishima. Maybe just uh, you sit in that uh, crucial committee that deals directly with this uh, particular fund that has actually been ruled unconstitutional by the courts. As the members of parliament, what do you make of that? this uh, particular ruling? Number one, we do respect the courts and uh, we believe that in this country all we need to do is all arms of government must uh, work together and if there are issues, we should always think about the interest of the common man because uh, as this NGCDF uh, fund has been very crucial in being transformative, bringing the transformation in schools and bringing infrastructure that was not there. And you know, when you say that people get money or help through the county government or in Nairobi, um, there can be no better fund than that fund that is at the constituency level. And we have seen what it has done. Anyway, um, we don't want to demonize the courts. They are doing their job, but we can coexist. And that's why um, a few days ago, I saw a meeting between the, C the chief justice and members of parliament drawn from Nairobi. And uh, the chief justice wanted these members of parliament from Nairobi to assist in, construc in construction of law courts. So anyway, we, we don't want to go in that direction. Right now, um, it is, uh, the, the teams will be there to make an appeal. But to make this thing come to an end, because it is pushed by activists, people who live in Nairobi and don't have an understanding of grassroots and the challenges that continue to eat and scorn our people here, they may not understand. We will need the law to be amended or to be enacted and the only way we do it is through a referendum or through a two-thirds majority mm -hmm. in parliament maybe quite briefly i remember that uh, it's, uh, when uh, making that a particular ruling it was avert that uh, the role of uh, the respective members of parliament is oversight legislation and representation you had also had this particular ruling previously and you retired back to uh, the National Assembly to ensure that uh, you panel beat this particular law to ensure that uh, you also will get it for and you conform to the law. Maybe how far is that the panel beating of the law to ensure that uh, members of parliament do not really work outside the framework of the law in as far as management of the NGCDF is concerned? Quite briefly. Let me tell you, it is just an onslaught on members of parliament. It's just an onslaught. But the truth be told, the Act of 2023 and even previously, I do not run the fund. I just oversight. And it, there is no problem. There is no nowhere where I'm breaking the law by pointing out the needs of my people. Members of Parliament, they are giving their response or their views on uh, the NGCDF that was declared unconstitutional. And it is on that note that we take a short commercial break. We don't go too far. We will be back with much more.